Hi everyone and good afternoon from Vienna, Austria. For today we are here at the Prater and in this video we're going to take you through Madame Tussauds here in Vienna. I enjoy a wax museum so I'm definitely interested to check this one out. I go by the legend, that's my wonderful girlfriend Molly. And now let's go explore the Madame Tussauds. In the lobby area of Madame Tussauds you do have Johnny Depp. Now a little bit about ticketing here. Uh, the tickets cost I think it's around $24 to get into. If you want to pair it up with the big Ferris wheel, it is only 30 euros. Before heading in, you also got Angelina Jolie at a cocktail table. Your shirt kind of matches her shirt. Her dress. That's what women wear. We're now in the museum proper, and it begins very properly, I would say, with Madame Marie Tussaud herself making a wax figure. The first scene is a good one, showing off some of the Austrian monarchs. And already, the photo ops in here. Top notch. With Maria. Yes, Maria Teresa, uh, Marie Antoinette, and Molly's crazy wig. The next room is wartime in Vienna and Napoleon standing here. Another fun photo op here. Molly's in a carriage at the, I believe it's the Hofburg Palace. I believe so too. Got Winston Churchill here. And then something that's very well presented is you go behind the bookshelf to the Diary of Anne Frank area. As you have Anne Frank there, obviously writing her diary. And then uh, Schindler from Schindler's List. You also have got some famous Austrian folks. Carl and Leopold. Leopold. And then they're good pals, Quentin Tarantino and Brad Pitt. Seems like weird they're in this room. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't make sense. And the next room's got the Pope. Molly, I think I'm gonna, this is gonna be hard to beat. You've got the Queen, you got Molly in a fun chair, but the Queen's Corgi. It's so cute. I don't know what I'm sitting. I feel like the Queen should be sitting. Probably. Also in this area, you've got a, uh, an odd collection of super friends. You've got Gandhi, uh, former President Barack Obama, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Another selection of famous political figures. Kind of a cool backdrop for the Dalai Lama. Mm -hmm. And then Nelson Mandela's deal in prison. This one makes a lot of sense with Vienna being so famous for its music. You've got Mozart, Falco, and Molly. And the lights went out. More famous musicians in the next room. Ludwig von Beethoven, with Joseph Hayden. And then you get some famous composers. Molly's playing the cello. Pretty cool. Let's see what do we got over here. Uh, Pomerati looks actually really, really good. Franz Schubert. And then this this might be my favorite photo op. This is up there with the Corgi. You get to Dr. Sigmund Freud, you get to tell him all your issues, and he figures out what's wrong with you. That is terrific. But that's not all. You also got famous painters over here. Uh, Gustav Clement, a very, very famous painter here in Vienna. And then you also got Einstein. Not a famous painter, obviously, but super famous. Here we go. Now, skiing is obviously a big deal in Austria. Got some of their famous skiers. Another great photo op. Something really cool. There's a virtual reality experience here at the top of the ski jump where it kind of shows you what it would like the views would be from the top of the ski jump and like in the middle of a ski jump. You got more, more famous skiers over here. Can't tell you who they are. Nope, nor can I tell you who these pop stars are at the lodge. I'm also kind of depressed. I would love for this, this ski lodge to be an actual bar. You know, Molly, if this was Kenny or Drew doing this video, they could probably tell you a whole bunch about Gerard Berger and what he's done. I cannot. He's, he's drinking champagne. Yeah, uh, expensive champagne. A couple of famous soccer players. 
haven't been able to determine if that snack bar is real or fake, but there's nobody working at it. We've got Richard Munger, Hans Moser, and George Clooney. Well, you made it to the music room where you've got some Swedish musicians that I have not ever heard of. I will say, like, doing a wax figure or a dude that wears a panda mask, probably pretty easy. Uh, there's something under construction over here, so somebody else is coming soon. You really do have to kind of keep these wax museums updated. And then you get into more internationally known pop stars. Uh, Freddie Mercury looks great. He does. Like that, that looks fantastic. You've got Katy Perry, also looks good. Madonna. And then I love this, you've got every member of One Direction, and you yourself could have a seat right there in the middle. You've got some famous movie stars in the next room, some old-timey stars like Marlene Dietrich, Aubrey Hepburn, and then I love this, they've got Alfred Hitchcock, who looks fantastic. And the murder scene from Psycho, the famous bathtub murder scene. This one looks great, uh, Julie Andrews from The Sound of Music. Cool set here for Orson Welles. There's this dude in front of a cabin and a car. No idea, no idea. And we're in the big Hollywood party type scene. Nicole Kidman, Kylie Minogue. You do get some more, more stars that I'm not familiar with, obviously more from Austria. James Bond, Sandra Bullock. Um, this, this guy's set is great. Yeah. You've got MJ. Unfortunately, she doesn't remember who Spider-Man is anymore. Well, my favorite is coming up. I love how they pair uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet. You never see Kate Winslet in a wax museum. No. Here's Rihanna and Dr. Stephen Strange himself. Unfortunately, he's dressed up all fancy and not his normal regalia. This scene is fantastic. It's like the little wedding chapel in Las Vegas. That is, that's wonderful. <laughs> Quite an elaborate entrance here for Sissy, who is a very famous Austrian uh, empress, whom you could see over here to the right. <laughs> And over here is um, a ghost. I am not familiar with this, but there's lots of spinning cakes, and that's really fun. Of course, you've got to exit through the gift shop. And I like this one. There's kind of like an upper level terrace to the Madame Tussauds where you could come and overlook the Prada and all of its rides and fun. I guess there's like kind of a snack bar thing here as well. That'll do for Madison Tussauds. Uh, not one of the best ones I've ever been to, but it was fun, very Austrian.